In the name of Allah, I never said the first word. I bet we can say it's no God but Allah. Oh, let me see. And Muhammad is his messenger. I don't want to be conf- uh, just confined right here, so I'm just going to move the mic a little bit. How's everybody feeling today? Alright, my name is Zeke Muhammad, as my mother said, I'm a personal trainer, I train throughout the city of Chicago, I've been going nationwide, doing TV, doing radio, and it seems a little odd that you would have a personal trainer here at Savior's Day to give a presentation, so, I know I kind of saw how the air kind of got thin in here when I heard I was a trainer, everybody stopped sucking it in a little bit, that's okay, that's okay, you don't need to feel like that. Um, one of the things that I really like to promote is healthy living. Healthy living. It's not just exercise, it's a, it's a lifestyle that uh, I want a lot of people to really focus on. So every time somebody sees me, I want to just hammer that point home. As you can see, I'm not an overweight personal trainer. See, a lot of trainers, you have somebody and they, and they don't really live what they talk about, but I live. Okay, so he says, okay, that's the plan, all right? So the mother goes, talk to the father, whatever happens. So the son drives up that day, but he's not driving, he's in the car. So he's not driving, he's in the car, his friend is driving, and he's having a conversation with his friend because he doesn't know what's about to take place, and he's real nervous because he knows if he gets in good standing with his father again, then all of his inheritance can come to him and everything will work out well. So his friend is driving, and he's talking to him, and he's saying, man, I'm real nervous, and I don't know how the situation's going to play out. But if it's a white sheet tied up to the tree, then that means that everything worked out with the mother and I can go back home and I'll be in good standing with my father. So, so his friend is driving, is driving, is driving. He got his head down and he, he's breathing heavy because he's nervous. And he says, well, let me know if you see the sheet tied up to the tree. He said, I'm going to let you know. He said, we're getting close to the house. Do you see the sheet tied up to the tree? And he said, man, I don't really know. So he said, how could you not know when we're right in front of the house? I'm getting real nervous. He breathed in heavy. He said, man, stop playing games with me. Is the sheep tied in front of the tree? Because I want to know so we can stop the car and go up there. He said, look, man, I can't see the tree because your father's standing in front of it. <laughs>
ran track, I broke all these records. I don't really care about that. I care about you living and being in shape and taking things to the next level, so I don't focus on health just for myself. I was about 17 to 18 years old, and this is when, because everybody, well, how, why are you a trainer? Why you write all these books and different things? They don't have anything to do with me being in shape. About 18 to 19 years old, and uh, I got a call from my mother. She says, you know what I mean? I need you to go see your father. I hadn't seen my father in years. So she said, I need you to go see my father. I said, well, where is he at? She said, well, he at Stroger Hospital. I said, well, okay, you know, last time I seen him, you know, he looked like me. So I don't know what he can be in the hospital for, but I'm going to go. So when I go and visit him, I don't see the same man that I used to know. Cancer had, had wrecked my father's body. He, was, he, he weighed less than my sister. I just couldn't imagine that this was the same person. So I was blessed to be able to spend time with him while he was in the hospital, while he was sick. But then after he passed, then I'm left to figure things out. So I got to figure out how to interact with a woman. I got to figure out how to start a business. These are all things that he's already done, but he's not here to give me that knowledge and that insight so I can kind of avoid the pitfalls that, that we all make in life. That make a sense to you all? So I want the community, just for me being here today, to take accountability for your own actions. You can't, you can't walk around saying, well, well, I don't eat pig, but then you look like one. <laughs> How hypocritical is that? What type of message are we sending to the world saying what we don't do? You know, they're looking at us, and you have to keep diseases running rampant in the spiritual communities across the world. Muslims are supposed to be a beacon of light and a beacon of hope for individuals that don't understand the demon. But if we look just like everybody else, if 75% of women are overweight and 75% of Muslim women, hold on. <laughs> and 75% of Muslim women are overweight, then what does that say? You know, how can you, how can you ask someone to join something when you, they're not seeing any change in you? So, everyone today, please, if you've never focused on it before, taking a real stock, I brought books, I brought DVDs, um, I'm, I'm, gonna make, I'm making myself readily available to the community for all of my expertise, because as the brother said, um, he said most of his, uh, the people that are involved in your organization are Muslim. You said most, none of my clients are Muslim. None of them. I, my phone hasn't, hasn't rained, there's been a Muslim asking to be trained by me. Now I can't, for whatever reason, I can't give a, get an atheist off my line. <laughs> they don't believe in God, but they exercising with me every single day trying to stay here. And we got those that believe in God and they, they don't give me a call as if everything's going to work itself out. That's the type of God that we serve. So, so I want to thank everyone for their time. I'm going to be here if you have any questions. I'm going to make sure everyone has my flyers, have, has my website. All of my information is available. If there's anything that I can do, I'm making myself available. And I want, I want everyone to really take everything I said seriously. And thank you all. I'll see you later.